Hello, this is Mr. Hendrickson. We're on to lesson three, nine dash three, writing quadratic equations in factored form. Um, we will start by looking at the actual formula. It should look like for factored form, y equals, oop, put an a there, x minus m, x minus n, where m and n are the solutions or x-intercepts. The a in front is going to be some multiple that sometimes that's a 1, it makes it easier, but sometimes there's another number. It changes the width of your parabola. So sometimes that's what we're going to have to figure out what the a equals in some of these formulas when we write the quadratic equation. So the first example here has a picture of a quadratic equation or quadratic with the, with the graph, but it also has the two x-intercepts. So if we're only given the two x-intercepts, we can write the formula. Now, this says write a formula for a possible quadratic function. So we start by putting in the formula with just the a. If we don't know what a is, there's some factor going in there, but it's x minus whatever the two x-intercepts are. Now this intercept is negative, so I want to make sure I put a negative 4 there, which is going to change when I get the two minuses together, but I'll rewrite it after. And then the second one is x minus 2. Now it helps to rewrite that because the two minuses does not look good, so I'm going to make that x plus 4 and x minus 2. So that's a possible function for this graph. In order to find the a for some of these, we're going to have to find them. In order to do that, you would have to know what the y-intercept is. Because the y in, at the y-intercept, the x value is 0. So the next part of this, in this graph, we can see what the y-intercept is, and we can actually solve it. So for part b, if they tell us the y-intercept, which in this case is negative 16, I can solve for a. And part of that, when it says use the y-intercept to adjust your function, I like to say because of the y-intercept, that means that x has to equal 0. So on the y-line, where it intercepts there, the x value is always 0. So I can plug this value into my function and solve for a. So the y-value is given as negative 16. The a-value is what we're trying to solve for. We don't know that. The x value has to be 0, so I can put 0 plus 4 and 0 minus 2. And then this is fairly simple to solve if we do out the math. So we have minus 16, the 0 plus 4 obviously is 4, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and if I multiply those, I get negative 16 equals negative 8a. And you can just divide by negative 8. So 2 equals a, or in this case, the a equals 2. So if it says solve for a, that's fine. But if it says write the full equation, I go back to my equation and I fill it in. So for a, I put in 2, x plus 4, x minus 2. And that is how you write the quadratic equation. All right, for example 2, I have it started here, but we're going to run through this. Given the x-intercepts, write a possible formula for the quadratic function. This just goes back to the basic part. We don't need as much detail if we don't know the y-intercept. So for the x-intercepts, the formula is just going to be y equals a, some number there, x minus the first y-intercept, and x minus the second y-intercept. And that's all we need for these ones. Um, with x minus 0, I would probably rewrite it. You can leave it that way, but I would just write a times x times x minus 3, but it's okay to leave the x minus 0 in there. They're, they're both acceptable. Um, I'm going to leave b and c for your assignment. I'm going to show you c only because there's, if there's only one x-intercept listed, you have to make sure that you label the x. Now it's x minus a minus 5. I'm just going to write in x plus 5, but you can't leave it like that. You need to make sure that to be a quadratic function, there's two because you need x minus m and x minus n, just means if there's one x-intercept, it gets repeated. So you have to have the two of them there. So that's what you're going to have for, the, for part C here. B and D will be part of your assignment. 
on the, the back or the second page, I'm going to start example three for you and then leave the rest of it for you to finish. So I will start example three. Again, the x-intercept is negative two. Similar to that part C, there's only one x-intercept. So the possible formula will just be y equals a times x. Now it's minus a minus two. I'm going to skip writing both steps and I'm just going to put x plus two there. Again, because it's a quadratic, you have to need, you need two of them. When there's only one x-intercept, we write it twice. Part B says use the y-intercept of the graph to find what A is. So that's going to be part of your assignment to finish doing that one. So you have to solve for A and get the equation for this quadratic. And then exercise 4 is the last part of your homework as well. And that's running through with both x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. Write the formula and graph it on your paper. Good luck.